Hello everyone and welcome home. Today I'm going to teach you how to become a Ponytown YouTuber like me. So, you might remember this video, a video with 5 tips on how to become a successful Ponytown YouTuber. I made it when I had 500 subscribers, which was 10 months ago. At the time, I thought I was pretty famous and knew what I was saying. Yes I did, and despite the video being an older one of mine, it's pretty good and I suggest you go watch it if you haven't already. At the time of recording this video, I am at 5,000 subscribers, 10 times more than what I did when I did that video. I don't want to make this intro too long, but seriously, thank you so much for liking my stupid horsey videos. Anyways, here are a few things that should help you start your own Ponytown channel. Number 1. Consider a few things. Before even making your first ever video, understand if this is really what you want to do. It is a big responsibility to actually grow your channel. It takes time, love, effort, and a lot of motivation. It is not easy, but don't let that push you away. It's a very rewarding thing and your efforts will pay off. Number 2. Alright, now that you know you have what it takes to have a channel, what content will you make? You can make all sorts of Ponytown videos, such as skin tutorials, building tutorials, which may include speed builds or interesting build ideas, random videos like role plays and games, and just anything you like. Heck, I have a diverse channel and do multiple types, but make sure it's not a whole mess. I absolutely hate it when people start a channel and make a video something like, Hello, please give me video ideas. First of all, your first video is going to get 7 views, and second, nobody cares about you to do your job as a creator th to think of stuff you should do on your own channel. Eventually, you can make polls and ask people what they want to see, but when you're first starting off, have a few ideas yourself. Number 3. Growing. If you invest a lot of time doing videos, surely you want to see something in return. You want people to watch your videos. A big thing that drives people away from continuing their channel is seeing that their first videos are not doing well. Don't let those numbers or any numbers make you feel anything other than happiness for your little space. I can tell you, Ponytown is not a big game, so there is a limit to how far your channel can grow. You won't get millions of subscribers off of Ponytown, so if you want to be famous, play other games too. It took me 84 days to reach 100 subscribers. Right now, that sounds silly as I get 100 subscribers every 5 days. It is very slow at the start, and I mean very. You can get lucky and have your first video blow up and get a ton of views, but I've come to the realization that it's not actually worth it. I made my first video a tutorial on how to get to your island and build on Ponytown. I was like, yo, this video has a bunch of views and it's outdated, what if I make a new version and just get a lot of views too at first, that way I have a good start and can grow my channel. Yeah, no. It only started getting a lot of views a few months ago and it's now 25,000 as of recording this video. It's my most popular video and it completely defeated its own purpose. I mean, yeah, it's nice it has a lot of views, but it's only getting them when the video is practically useless. Let's say you did get a big reaction to your first video. Great, what more could you want? Well, you see, getting a lot of views on a video isn't exactly hard. What's hard is keeping those viewers and having them become fans. Sometimes having your first video get so much attention and then the rest of your videos none at all can really demotivate you. YouTube isn't an overnight thing. It takes time. Don't hope for some miracle. Your videos will get the attention they deserve eventually. Number 4. Now, how do you get those people to become fans? How do you get people to know who you are? Of course, you can't make videos endlessly forever and expect the numbers to magically become bigger. What I did to grow my channel was that I created a cult. Just a bunch of people cosplayed of me. At the time, it was perfect. It was fun for us, people got used to seeing this lavender pony at spawn all the time and it was free advertising for my channel. Now, I'm not saying you should do the same thing, but being online on Ponytown and getting people to know you is a good way to get a few people. Hosting games and doing videos on them is also good because you can be like, hey, I'm doing this for a video, and people will be like, oh, really? What's your channel? Since they will most likely be curious to see themselves on YouTube. This is also how I got my first 20 or 30-ish subscribers. I had a wonderful time doing the Four Corners video and Ponytown's Got Talent video. Number 5. My last point, how to stay motivated. Honestly, I never expected myself to be such a well-known Ponytown YouTuber right now. 
I only started it because I was a stressed out child. I wanted my own home. I guess what keeps me going is the people. This probably isn't much of a point, but it truly is the best feeling in the world to be called an idol, an inspiration, and a favorite YouTuber to someone. It fills that little void in my soul. We all want to be loved, so I love you guys. Thank you once again for all the love, fanner, and overall appreciation for my content. I hope to see more YouTubers and I will make sure to be there and help you start out. Once again, you are a very cool person. Have a nice rest of your day slash night. Bye! Amen.